Hello guys, this is Emil Peralta. Are you ready to continue improving your coding skills? Well, this is the time to do so, because today I have another coding interview question so you can improve your skills and get the job you want. And the question for today is invert a binary tree. So they give you a binary tree. As you know, a binary tree is a data structure uh, that has nodes and every node has a most two children. So they give you this example, they give you this tree, and after you invert the tree, you get this one here. So the root of the tree is four, so it stays the same, but this one has two on the, on the left and seven on the right. When you invert that, you get seven on the left and two on the right. And below you can see that you have 1369 and when you invert it you get 9631 so um, as you can see this problem um, is kind of trivial if you know the basic algorithm that you have to follow um, so a tree is a recursive data structure so we can think about this problem recursively. So uh, what do we do? What we do is that we take the root and we swap the left subtree with the right subtree. So we can do that recursively by using um, one of the traversals. We can use pre-order, in-order, or post-order. In this case, we're going to use post order traversal. So, the post order traversal um, means that you recurse to the left, you recurse to the right, and then you process the root. You you do what you need to do. So, without further ado, I'm going to start coding this and explaining how it works. So, this is the method. The base case. The base case is when we go to a no link. So, we're going to traverse all the way down for example going left going left all the way here and then we're going to go to below the one which is null so the left is going to be null so we want to return back up so that's going to be the base case so if the root equals equals null i can simply return null okay so now uh we have to do the recursive step uh, we need to recurse to the left and we need to recurse to the right because we're gonna get we want to get for instance if we are here we want to recurse to the left to get the left subtree which is this one here and we want to recurse to the right to get the right subtree which is this one here so we're gonna say that uh, the reference to the left gets a value of invert tree of root that left as you can see I'm calling the same method to recurse to the left and get the left subtree. And then a reference to the right gets the value of invert tree of root that right. Alright, so first it's gonna go all the way to the left. Four to one no it's gonna return back up. Then it's gonna go all the way to the right. It's gonna go to the right. So this is no, so it's gonna return back up and then it's gonna swap. And then it's going to go here to the right. It's going to return back up and it's going to swap. So this is going to be 3 and 1. So now this is the post order traversal. So we went to the left, we went to the right. Now in the post order, we have to process. Uh, the we, we do what we need to do. So we can say that the root that left points to the right subtree. And the root that right points to the left subtree. As you can see, um, we swap the the right subtree with the left subtree, and finally we return the root. So now we're gonna see if this is working. So the output I get is four seven two nine six three one, and the expected output is four seven two nine six three one. So they match. So this is probably correct. So now I'm going to submit my solution. As you can see, 
success. Zero milliseconds faster than 100% of Java sub submissions for inferred binary tree. So this is a a perfect solution. It's a recursive solution. Actually, it's not perfect because sometimes interviewers might ask you this question. Um, because this uses recursion, uh, the recursive call stack has a limit of calls. It has a limit. And if you are using a tree that is not balanced, then you might have a problem if you have a bunch of nodes. If you have like 5 billion nodes, for example, then you might have a stack overflow. So what you need to tell the interviewer if he asks you that question is that because this is a recursive algorithm, you can you should use this mainly uh, if you if you're working with a self-balancing tree, for example, an AVL tree or a red black BST. Um, if you're dealing with a lot of data, like for example, five billion nodes, uh, because it's gonna take time proportional to the I mean the space it's gonna take is gonna be proportional to the height of the tree. Uh, if it's not balanced, then um, you might have stack overflow. So that's something that you should point out to your interviewer if he mentions that. Uh, but this is the the natural way to solve this type of question using recursion. Um, thank you for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Please like this video if you want more videos like this one. And see you next time.